Hey friends, welcome back to today's video. We have so much as always jam packed. So get ready for some serious cleaning motivation. We are starting out in my kitchen area and going through and cleaning these sliding glass doors that were super dirty. So I'm going to chat with you here in a second. Okay, so in last week's video, I shared with you guys the um, dis DIY disinfectant spray that I made, and it's just with rubbing alcohol, hot water, and um, essential oil, and that's what I put in here. You can also use it on glass. And I also have a Jaws glass cleaner. So what I'm going to do is I kind of want to test it out and see which works better. So both of my, I'm going to show you guys here, both of my windows, my sliding glass doors are gross from my son's um, handprints. So I was thinking, um, so on one of them, I'll use the, the Jaws glass cleaner and kind of test it out to see which one I liked um, better um, because I made the DIY disinfectant spray. So if you can just make it at home and not buy, um, you know, a ton of products, I, you know, that's a great way to save money. So let's test it out. I promise I ain't trying to play games with ya, girl. Honest, you are not a side character. This is pitch perfect, really got me thinking you and I could be some Pressed all the right buttons and now I'm done Searching damn tight and yours I don't be going to no competition Sweet like gelato, dago, shape of Valentino Rockin' on a high, no gotta love it, it's a brand new No man, I go not so jolte, no chiana, but bado Tired and yours, I know so no Cause you're the one and only girl Promise, I ain't tryna play games with ya, girl Honest, you are not a side character Every day after day, I okay so this side you can obviously see i still need to clean so i just used the jaws disinfect or jaws glass cleaner over here and now i'm going to use the diy disinfectant rubbing alcohol and essential oil and hot water spray here So both sides look super clean. I'm actually really happy with both the jaws and the rubbing alcohol. So I will say if you guys have um, jaws, obviously it's amazing. But if you don't and you don't have a glass cleaner or like Windex or anything, you can literally use um, what I made at home, this rubbing alcohol, water, and essential oil. And you don't even need the essential oil. I just like the essential oil because then you can't smell the rubbing alcohol. Um, but it works perfectly as a glass cleaner. So if you're in need of saving money and just making your own, this is definitely an option. Now we are starting out with some of my more so deep cleaning. Well, first I just wanted to clean this mirror down. And since that rubbing alcohol worked so well on the sliding glass door, I decided to use it on my mirror in my entryway and it worked perfectly. So if you are in need of a glass cleaner and you don't feel like spending a bunch of money, 
well, not that it's that expensive, but you can just make it at home. So like I said, rubbing alcohol, water, hot water, and essential oil. Um, you don't have to use essential oil, but I think it smells great with it. Um, so I'm just using it as, um, you know, like multi-surface cleaning. It also disinfects, um, but I'm just cleaning the entryway table and I cleaned the mirror off with it. Um, and soon I'm going to be deep cleaning in my family room. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I just wanted to introduce myself. If you are new, my name is Jessica and my channel has a ton of cleaning motivation. Every single week I post on Monday and Thursday at 5 p.m. every week and you'll find lots of cleaning motivation. So I do whole house clean with me's like this, deep cleaning. Um, now that we are in mid-February, I'm gearing up for, I'm always ready for the hot weather, but I'm gearing up for spring and I have a checklist in mind of my spring cleaning. So in this video, I'm starting out, it's a little early, obviously mid-February is early, um, but I'm starting to do my more so deep cleaning now. Um, so I'll share that with you in a moment, but I just wanted to say hi and introduce myself. And I am a mom to my son who is one years old, actually yesterday, he turned 13 months so one year and one month and my husband's name is John and this is our home and I hope that you get all the motivation that you need when you come to my channel and you are always welcome here I would love to have you be sure to always say hi because I will always comment back uh, down below so be sure to introduce yourself you might think I'm a little strange but I'm not gonna change here I am deep cleaning in my family room so this wood shelf my husband made um, I am so in love with it it goes right over top of our couch and it's just the perfect spot for like a little bit of decor but it was very dusty so I wanted to go ahead and deep clean that so um, I do have like a hardwood spray um, from Jaws but to be honest it was all the way upstairs and <laughs> I did not feel like running all the way up to run all the way back down and I I was on a time limit because my son was napping so I just used what I had with me and I did use that rubbing alcohol um, just a tiny bit of um, that mixture and it worked great I got all the dust off that I needed to and wiped down my um, little pieces of decor on there and most of that stuff I got from Kirkland's Target and uh, big lots so it, it's pretty much probably doesn't exist there anymore because I got it a while ago but th those are the three places that I really like to shop for home decor um, but I wiped that down got all the dust off and that felt really great because I don't think I've ever maybe I've done it like one time and it's been up for several months now so it was super dusty um, so if you're in need of dusting just think of those spots that you haven't hit in a while and maybe just pick like one spot per week um, to kind of get like ahead of your spring cleaning and it feels really good to get that done early.
guys are interested in these wood floating shelves, check out our Etsy shop. My husband and I do have a family owned Etsy shop and we just added new items, which are these floating shelves that we're now offering. He does such a phenomenal job at woodwork and making these shelves at our home. So we thought we might as well put it in our Etsy shop and see if anyone would be interested. We have them all throughout our house in our family room, in our bathroom upstairs, in our laundry room, my son's nursery, and we will be doing it in in his playroom sometime soon as well so if you're interested i do have our etsy shop always linked in my description box we have so many different items that we engrave so definitely check it out if you are in need so next on my spring early spring to-do list is cleaning my fans so i started out with just the fan downstairs i only have one fan downstairs and one fan upstairs and that is in our family room down here so um, as you can see, I was showing you, it was a little dusty up there. It wasn't terrible, but I just simply used the cloth that I'm using right now. I was really trying to just utilize my time the best that I possibly could because my son has decided that he's only going to nap for one hour now and he also wakes up in extremely early and also hates going to bed so basically he never wants to sleep and it <laughs> leaves me no time to do all of my editing filming um etsy orders like all that so i am like when he falls asleep it is go time so i just took this rag and my uh, rubbing alcohol and just did all of my cleaning with those two things because it was just easier to get it done. Um, and I wanted to also touch on something um, as far as when it comes to motivation to get things done, I really, this is something I've been thinking about a lot that I wanted to share with you guys in a video. Don't rely on your motivation to get things done or hit your goals. Something that I have really realized is I am not motivated every single day. There are a lot of days that I am like, how am I going to get all this done? I am not motivated at all to go work out, to make all my meals, to just clean, to edit. Like some days I'm not motivated to do it. But you have to rely on your dedication and consistency to hit your goals. Um, last year, on December 4th, I ran my first half marathon. And my whole postpartum journey, I was training for this half marathon. And there were so many days that I had zero motivation. Zero. <laughs> but I am always consistent. That is something I'm so proud to say. I am always dedicated and consistent. When I have a goal, I am I literally will I will not stop until I hit that goal. So, that's something that if you have a goal in mind for anything, literally anything, you you cannot rely on motivation because motivation will not always be there. You have to stay consistent. Motivation comes like a roller coaster. It goes up and down. So one day you can feel, even in the morning, you could feel motivated. And by the evening, you are like, forget that. I'm not motivated at all. You can't rely on that. You have to rely on just being consistent every single day for whatever goal you have in mind so that's something that's been really heavy on my mind that I really wanted to kind of just share that with you guys because um I think a lot of people just rely on motivation and it's not enough to meet goal your goals because us humans are not always going to be motivated so just wanted to share that with you
when I first started filming this, my son was napping and then within like 10 seconds, he woke up. So um, I just brought him down to clean with me. So if you see his head poke in, that's why. But I just wanted to quickly deep like deep clean the um, seasoning cabinet. It was just getting out of hand. I really need to find a better system for this area, but I haven't. And we've lived here for about two years now. And this is, it is what it is. This is where I keep my apple cider vinegar because I take a sh two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar every morning. So I keep it right here. My husband does the same thing. Um, and then I put our spices in the little spice cabinet. Um, and I just haven't found like a good system for it. It seems to get dirty pretty quickly but as of right now this is what it looks like and I was just happy that it how it you know how it worked out but um it felt really good to just get that all clean because the spices had kind of just taken over the bottom of the cabinet I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights yeah. Sort out of the lies, oh baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. yeah. So I am using my shark vacuum to clean my son's playroom because of the rug in here. My dog's hair is always on this rug and there's like just, you know, dirt, dog hair, all that kind of stuff. So I was using the carpet um, option on the shark vacuum. It, it's very powerful, very, very strong. So I was using that just to quickly clean up. I just do this every couple of days when it gets, um, you know, full of dog hair and it's, it's so cute. My son is so smart. He, he knows exactly where the vacuum is, um, plugged in and he like follows the cord and then goes to attempt to unplug it. But of course I don't let him do that. Um, but I just, <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. My husband and I were watching it over and just watching him like figure out where the cord was. He's also very fascinated with uh, my stand for my camera when I'm filming. So if the video shakes, that's why. But um, yeah, I'm just getting everything vacuumed up and nice and clean and fresh. This time I know it for sure. I just thought I should let you know. Now, no one's no more. No. I got so high on a low. That's when I love you the most. I really thought we had it covered Was gonna patch up all the scars But we smashed up all the parts Oh na 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 Always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard To figure out who you really are I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby going down, 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 down kind of my um as far as like cleaning routine what vacuums i use and not saying that you have to have separate vacuums because you don't i'm just sharing with you guys what i do so for my deep cleaning i do use my shark vacuum which you just saw me using in my family room and in my son's um playroom because those two rooms have rugs so anytime i need to clean the rugs i will use the shark vacuum because it has a very strong suction um however 
I can use my Dyson, I can use my Collado vacuum, my Homika vacuum, I can use any of them, but I do feel that the Shark vacuum has a very strong suction. Um, if your house has a lot of carpet, then I would recommend using a corded vacuum because they are much stronger. And this Shark vacuum actually has a setting on it for hard floor and carpet. Um, however, my Collado vacuum, which I shared in a recent video, um, which I will be using right after dinner, um, is only three pounds, super light, no cord, which I love. And I can literally, I use it multiple times per day to clean up after my son because my son is a toddler and there is always food on the floor. So um, I just wanted to share that with you guys, kind of like depending on your needs. So if you need, if, if you need to clean your staircase and you don't have hardwood stairs, you have carpet, I would recommend the Shark Vacuum. I would recommend the Shark Vacuum if you have a lot of carpet throughout your whole house. If you have hardwood, I would recommend probably a um, cordless vacuum because you don't need as strong as a suction because you're not getting into like uh, the, fib the fibers that are inside of the carpet or anything like that if you have hardwood flooring. So it just kind of depends. Also, if you're someone that just needs like quick cleaning, like 10 minute vacuum the floor really quick, then I would go with a really lightweight vacuum. This shark vacuum is not lightweight. It is heavy. Um, my Collado vacuum is really lightweight, three pounds, super easy to use. So it just really depends on what your needs are and what kind of house that you have. Um, so if you guys have any questions about my suggestions or anything like that, always feel free to comment them down below. And I do have links to everything in the description box if you're in the market for a vacuum. Not saying that you need to use any multiple vacuums, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. So as always, feel free to ask me any questions. This is what I was talking about. I just wanted to show you guys really quick. Um, so here you can see there is hard floor option and carpet. So you just do one click for hard floor and then another click for carpet so you know obviously you can use this on hard floor but me personally i really am using this for all of my rugs in my house um and then i do like to use the different attachments that come with it um if i want to clean my couch but my collado vacuum um is really lightweight and i can do the same thing so depending on if i want to lug this around because it is heavy um then you know i'll just decide that but it definitely knows how to suction and get a ton of my dog's hair up <laughs> as you can see right here there is a lot quickly i just wanted to share with you guys this is our etsy shop we have a ton of engraved charcuterie boards we have um, cake topper signs we have canvases that we can engrave um, anything like wedding related we can do so if you guys have anything like custom engraving that you're interested in always feel free to message us on etsy or just give us a follow so you can see when we have new items coming in like i said we have those wooden shelves floating wooden shelves that we have just added and a ton more so definitely just give us a follow so you can see when we post new items and if you have any questions always feel free to reach out so next we are getting into cooking with me and i will state the obvious that I am a very basic person when it comes to food. I don't do anything extravagant. It's just not who I am. So I stick to basics. Every single day we have, you know, our proteins and our vegetables with every single meal. So here I'm just doing my 93% lean brown uh, turkey and some kale and I just used um, tomato paste to mix that in and that's it. And to me, it tastes delicious and a lot of times we'll add mushrooms in and garlic powder and minced onions. Um, and then on the side, we'll either have like sweet potatoes or I'll just do it over like a salad. And my husband loves like the couscous rice 
um, so I put that over uh, this over that for him and yeah that's pretty much it but I just wanted to share that with you guys that's something I make all the time and it never gets old for me but I will say that I am unique in the sense of I don't get bored of the same foods pretty much there's like sometimes special occasions where like cottage cheese gets old or like you know basic things um oh I am also adding apple cider vinegar I love the way it tastes or I'll add um like the generic balsamic vinaigrette um or vinegar as well but yeah that's pretty much it I'm pretty basic when it comes to that my husband is different he doesn't really like to eat the same thing every day but I could literally eat the same thing every day it doesn't bother me um, but that's it that's what we're having for dinner I do count my macros um, so I count my protein fats and carbs um, I've been doing that for years now and it's just something I do every day so I measure make sure I'm eating enough protein um, I stick to a high protein medium carb and medium fat um, for my meals I'm losing sight because I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can't hide I am cleaning up with my Colado vacuum after <laughs> cooking and feeding my son because there is always food on the floor. So I literally take this vacuum out of the pantry and vacuum up every single meal because there's always food thrown on the floor, which drives me crazy. And usually my dog will eat it, but um, there's some occasions where there's certain like little things that she won't eat. So um, I wanted to share with you guys, I will be showing you in a, a minute or two um, some of my items that I got from Aldi. So I will say that I actually spent a lot of time um, comparing Walmart to Aldi online like I literally pulled up Aldi I pulled up Walmart and I compared their prices and there was only a select items that I found that Aldi was cheaper and this is just in my area so your Walmart and Aldi might be totally different than mine um, but I'm in Delaware and this is what ours was so there was about four things that was ch that were cheaper at Aldi compared to Walmart. So one of them was the non-fat Greek yogurt by the brand Friendly Farms. That was significantly cheaper than I usually buy Chobani fat-free yogurt at Walmart and um, it was way cheaper at Aldi. The second thing that was way cheaper was ground turkey, 93% lean. I always buy it at Walmart. And yes, I am taking a look to make sure that the macros are the same and the amount inside the container is the same, like ounce-wise. Um, significantly cheaper at Aldi. So if you really care about saving money, which I do, um, I like I'm on a budget so I do care about that and it was way cheaper at Aldi the other thing that was way cheaper was um, or is avocados significantly cheaper at Aldi um, and then chia seeds also significantly cheaper than Walmart here I'm just showing you the different items and then um, my husband loves this beef stew meat so that was also way less expensive at all. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys if you are looking to um, visit your local Aldi. So that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you got the cleaning motivation you needed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!